Well, the Buffalo Naval and Military Park is now officially open for this season, and this marks a milestone along Buffalo's Inner Harbor. It was 40 years ago when the USS Little Rock and the USS The Sullivans came here into the Queen City. That was back in 1977. The highlight of this year will be in late September when Western New York will witness a first for the U.S. Navy. Here's 7 Eyewitness News reporter Josh Bazan. It's a new season at the Buffalo Naval and Military Park, but as the gates open for the first time this year, the park is missing one important member, Colonel Patrick Cunningham. We know that his memory will live, will live on here at the park uh, because he virtually was involved in every corner of this Naval and Military Park, and um, he will be long missed but not forgotten. Colonel Cunningham was the park's executive director for a quarter century, and he passed away Friday. It's Cunningham who many credit for making the park such a successful destination. Last year, we had 78,000 uh, guests here at the, uh, at the Naval Park, uh, and we had visitors here at the park from all 50 states in 112 countries. With a new season underway, the Naval Park is celebrating 40 years since the USS Little Rock and USS The Sullivans were brought to Buffalo. Both came into Buffalo Harbor uh, in 1977. And the park is also looking forward to September, when the new USS Little Rock will be commissioned here in Buffalo, alongside the ship it's being named after. It'll be the first time in the history of the United States Navy that a ship will be commissioned next to its uh, retired namesake. It's never, be never before happened. In Buffalo, Josh Bazan, 7 Eyewitness News.